everybody, it's Larry here at LC Model Shipbuilding. So this video is kind of a continuation of the last video, um, and then we go into doing the aft grand staircase. You can kind of see it behind my shoulder right here. So we finish off the B-deck staterooms. Um, I didn't bother doing all the furniture in this video just because it would be extremely repetitive to uh, what the last one was. But then we do do a scratch build of um, the uh, grand staircase there towards the end. So you get to see all that come together. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and let's get started. Okay, so here we are back again, um, doing some more of the uh, the B-deck staterooms. And um, as you can see, I got more painted here and all that. So I wanted to kind of show my method for painting these and how I've done these. So first step I did was white. Um, white on the areas that have brown on the bottom half and then I come back over across it with the uh, brown paint so some of them were solid wood so those are the rooms there and how I cut these I left the um, I left the room numbers there so I'm able to see them and then um, compare it back to my my floor plan so what we got then when we take this off and I could probably go ahead and uh, then tape off the doors, but I think I'd end up having more problems with that. So I'll end up just kind of hitting them with a brush. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second when I take the tape off. So you gotta be very careful on the end for that little archway piece there. And then we're just gonna peel that back and we have a nice solid brown line divider. Then you can see where the door is supposed to be and I'll end up just hitting that with a brush um, in order to uh, get it to have the full brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just get these peeled off of the tape and the stick. Um, I do airbrush all of these uh, so it's not can paint um, and uh, that gives a really nice finish on them all in all. Um, I highly recommend doing that over brush painting really on anything, but uh, you know, sometimes you do have to brush paint. It's just a reality. Um, so this is kind of my system on at least getting them painted and they peel off fairly easily. You don't really have to worry about uh, bending them too bad because the places that they would bend are separations anyway. Um, just got to be a little careful around maybe the doors, but nothing overly difficult. So just kind of get that peeled back there. And that is a separation, like I was saying. And there we go. Uh, so Anyway, I'm going to get these all peeled off. Then the next step that we're going to do is go ahead and paint the remainder of the furniture. So when I did the first six, I was doing three at a time. And if I did that, I'd have probably a good solid two weeks into doing this because it just will take forever. Um, this way of doing it, we're gonna basically lay these all out after I get the doors painted and we're going to kind of assembly line style what we're doing and I'm going to demonstrate it and we're basically gonna build all of these rooms during this video and it'll be short, kind of sweet and uh, get us there. And then you can furnish them after that yourself well, you're going to furnish them yourself anyway, but <laughs> you kind of get what I mean um, without the video. But doing the assembly line style will definitely make this go a lot quicker. And um, then we'll be able to move into... Uh, the aft section of the deck and get closer to being done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish peeling these off 
and uh, then I'm going to paint the doors. And after we get back from that, I'll pick the video back up and we'll start putting these all together. So that's the plan. Okay, so the next step in this, what we're doing here is lining out all of our rooms. So this is the order they go in. Now there is a miss, I can't talk, a misprint in here for number 79. Um, but I did just kind of go back through to validate this because 79, um, is not one of the outer rooms according to the floor plan so either the brass is wrong or the book is wrong but um in any case i got it situated so we're gonna kind of go with what we got here so next i'm going to take my little sheet here and match up the colors of each carpet so i already got my red for those two so then we got number 78 so 78 will have a green carpet. So I'm gonna take a piece of that and I need it to be 20 millimeters wide. So I basically, I'm just going to cut then and uh, that I will lay down on top of the, uh, the room for right now. Okay, so 79, then we got number 82. So 82 is red. So we're gonna take a red one here, measure out my 20, which should be pretty much the same there. That was a little bit big when I made it, but that's okay. That goes there. Then we got number 84, and 84 is green again. Then we have number 88, which is red. Back and forth like Christmas. Green and red, green and red. So I'm gonna say roughly there. I've cut a few of these at this point, so I know about what 20 millimeter is. Let's see how close I am. Ooh, not bad. Might have to trim it a little bit or overlap it, either way. And then number 90. So number 90 is green again. So. A lot of back and forth there. All right. So what I'm going to do, eh, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and cut out the rest of them. Might as well. So I need green again. Let me get another sheet. Hopefully I have one printed. Okay, another green sheet. It's a little long, but that's okay. Okay, number 88. No, it's not 88. 81. Sorry, I'm looking sideways and backwards, so that's going to be a blue. Oh, and this one has wallpaper to it as well. So I'm actually not even going to cut that one right now. I'm just going to kind of set it there. So we can install the wallpaper later. Number 83 is green again. I really like green. Okay, then we got number 87. 87 will be a 
red. Okay. And number 89. 89 is green again. So when we go to um, get these glued in next, I will kind of remeasure since I'm not doing an exact measurement as I'm cutting because I do know I do know that 20 is where I want to be um, just with how the other rims have fit out. So next I'm gonna move these just over slightly right now and we're literally going to do this all basically in one sort of step here as we do it you'll see Oops. now the last two rooms have a small hallway so we're going to have I'm going to leave a small divide there for that because this is the hallway that would be right behind the funnel so you're going to have a funnel you'd have the funnel basically that would be right here so we'll I'll explain more of that once we get going here all right so now I just want to do a double measure that's my 20 so I need to overlap that by about an eighth of an inch so I'll get my glue And it's okay back in the back there if it's not perfect because that's going to get covered by uh, tile anyway. And I'm getting a little bit of spill out on the glue, which um, it will pretty much disappear once I uh, spray the uh, dull coat on. So not a big deal there. So now that one should be just about perfect on 20. So our next one, we're going to go ahead and glue that down in our alternating Christmas colors as it is. measure real quick again that's a 20 yep that's not straight don't like it there we go I am longer than it needs to be That's a little bit longer than I'd like it to be. I might end up cutting that a little bit, but not a big deal. Now here is where that hallway would be. Um, so I'm going to make the hallway just slightly wider than what a door would be. So I'm just going to hold my door down here like that. And that kind of is giving me my marker of where I want my hallway to land. Cut a little bit off that, just so I don't have to worry about it later. Okay, so. It's like Arts and Crafts Day with construction paper. I feel like I'm helping my 10-year-old. Ah. Look at that, we made a thumbs up in the glue. 
Beautiful. All right, so next up, just like the previous video, we're going to cut the, uh, the walls off the sprue here. And I have found that simple scissors on this has been perfectly fine. Um, for the walls anyway. I wouldn't use it obviously for the furniture, but the walls, it's been working quite well actually. All right, so this is our back wall, or side wall, I guess you'd say. Now, like I said, the first set of doing this, when I did the first, uh, the last video, I'm sorry, doing these decks, or these uh, cabins over here, I probably had a full, I don't know, five hours into that section alone. Um, this time around, you can kind of see that it's not going to take me anywhere near five hours to get this set up at this point. You just start kind of learning the tricks as you're going with doing this. like to take a little bead along the back there like that where nobody can see it anyway it's been working well for me but doing this in one live shot too kind of gives you an idea of what you can do when you kind of assembly align it Now for the furniture, I'll probably do the exact same thing where I'm assembly lining everything, having it pre-built and ready to go by room. And then it's just a matter of picking it up with some tweezers and dropping it down. These uh, longer panels I've also found that uh, just gluing the back onto the back of the other one has been working perfectly fine. And then doing glue along the base back here once it's set. Really shouldn't have did that side, but it's already done now. Okay, so now we got the Louis the Fifteenth room. I want to say that was somebody important that was on that room. Could be wrong, but I'll have to look it up. I was reading through like who was in some of the different rooms. And I was all excited to talk about it. That was last night. And since then, I've already forgotten who was in what room. So I'm not going to, not going to go ahead and shout them out because uh, 
I will definitely get them wrong at this point. For sure. No. Okay. So, Okay, so I do have a weird feeling that those doors were supposed to be white, um, the ones that would go out to the hallway. Unfortunately, I did go ahead and do them brown, but I'm pretty sure they were white, so it is what it is. I'm not going back and tearing everything apart. I didn't realize it until halfway through. The video here. I should have caught it last night when I was doing the last video, but I did not. But I'll know that for next time, right? I guess that's how I gotta look at it. Now, this outside wall where this hallway is, I'm going to end up putting styrene here and, um, and a uh, bit of wallpapering. Um, I'll show that later. I might actually not even have to do styrene. I might get away with just putting the wallpaper on, but we'll see how that comes out. And then the hallway itself will have the uh, the hallway tile on it. I don't like where that door landed. Come on. That door is not exactly right. It bent a little bit in. There. That's better. Just need to join that one on. And same thing here, we're going to have that space for the hallway. I'm really thinking that maybe before I glue this down, I should at least put the hallway 
flooring on now. That's mainly because it's going to be really hard to get in there once everything's glued down. And I'm going a little bit longer than it needs to be on purpose. These hallways on Titanic were extremely narrow. I mean, even for first class, which is crazy to me on a ship like that. But I guess that was the times. So I'm going kind of close to center, but I do think I'm gonna end up putting a wall in there or something. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, we got one more on this side after this, and then we'll move over to the other side, which will essentially be the exact same process. Now, there's also three or four more smaller rooms down here, which we'll do next, I guess, after we do the other side there. I don't usually do this long of a segment all in one shot, but I kind of wanted to demonstrate what you could do when you have everything pre-painted, laid out, and ready to go. Like I said, say, said, am saying, whatever. Um, now that I've figured this out, I would have done it like this from the get-go, right in the beginning. But I didn't know this when I started, so assembly line is the way to go, for sure. that one to sit just a little bit farther over than where it was. I got a slight bend going on, but 
it really won't be noticeable as long as uh, it kind of holds where I'm trying to hold it at. All right, giddy up. So, next up, we're going to do the exact same thing over here, basically. I guess that tile there, I should have just gone the whole way across because that's where it ended up going. Lots of little scrap papers from this little adventure. I saw somebody posted that they actually put real fabric down. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, I don't know. I don't think I would do that, but that's just me. that's definitely wider than 20 there by about an eighth that's way long still long way long and wide. Still wide. Bingo. I know this may not be the most exciting video, but hopefully it is kind of showing how you can work with efficiency to a degree. Yeah, that could have gone almost all the way across in one shot. Not quite, but close. It's not really gonna matter though, cause there's gonna end up being a hole right here anyhow for light pass through and the uh, funnel smoker to come up in. Cause we will make this smoke. Okay, got red and green left to go.
probably gonna need another bottle of glue here in a minute. I'm getting close on that one. All right, pretty close to lined up. Not 100% perfect, but not bad. So I'll take it. Now that blue room, when we get to that, we gotta put wallpaper on quick. That will kind of slow it down a minute. I might actually take a quick break too when we get to that point because I'm getting thirsty I think in a little bit of a weird way it's actually a little easier working on this side without flipping it I don't know I might be wrong but it just kind of seems that way I'm getting curious to feel how heavy this is now. Oh, we might be almost out of glue. Yep, I'm gonna say we pretty well have kicked that bottle or tube. Okay, well, I'm going to get a new bottle of glue. I'm going to get a drink, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and on the short break here, I went ahead and put the wallpaper on for this wall, so that's already done, just because I knew that was going to be kind of time-consuming. It didn't take that long, but... Uh, I figured in the interest of time on the video and not to rehash what we did in the last video quite as much as I am in this video overall that uh, I'd go ahead and do it quick but we're gonna finish up our last three rooms here then we'll put our furniture down which I'll get all prepped up before the video and we will just kind of throw them in where they go. And that'll wrap up this video. Okay, bend. So, as you can see, this does become extremely repetitive. But I do promise anybody can do it.
Okay, and there you can see the wallpaper design on this one. That green one just doesn't want to stay there. There go. Got a little bit of glue on my fingers, making it harder. But I think you can see that by doing this in the assembly line fashion, you end up getting the same result in a mere fraction of the time. So to anybody doing this in the future, which I've, I know there is going to be Lots more people building, my recommendation. I don't like how I bent that one. I did it backwards. There. Not the bend. I didn't bend it backwards, but uh, how I was how I was bending it was backwards from usual. It felt weird. Okay, I know that there was not a lot of talking in this part. I apologize. I'm just trying to kind of move as I go. Okay, two more rooms and we're done with this section.
challenging because uh, you couldn't get glue on the wall side down there. I think I am going to try. Ooh. I don't like how far that gap is there with the red. I'm going to have to add a little strip of green. Okay, that's what it is, but slight mismeasured. Green. to kind of overlap so I'm going a little bit longer than it needs to be. Okay, there we go. And last. We got our final bend. I don't know if I'll shorten this up or not. I may just because uh, it's extremely repetitive. The video, I mean. I'll have to play it back and kind of assess whether I would watch the whole entire part but there we go all of the rooms assembled in less than an hour okay so I went ahead and uh finished off these couple I started to film again and um I don't know it would bore you to death because it was just basically the exact same thing so um I moved on to coming down here now these rooms are smaller and one thing when you go to take these off of your sprue, you have this extra little wall piece here. Threw me off for a second, and then I realized that that is the interior wall for here. So that's what that is on that room. So we're just gonna glue that on real quick. Um, carpet coloring in here, I've seen two different looks to it. Um, I've seen red, and I've seen some green looks for it. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the green look and I'm actually going to end up using um, what would have been like the tiling for uh, I think third class or whatever the green there's some green I'll pull that out in a minute here but uh, I thought about doing red and the red doesn't quite do what I wanted to do and then I thought about using the uh, red tiling for second class and eh, I'm not really feeling that either although I may actually glue this onto the bed uh, mattresses because the pictures I'm seeing right here it looks like a red and white type mattress going on so that'll give it a little bit of difference from the rest of the rooms and all that kind of stuff so I'm thinking that's the route that I'm going to go um, I am mildly worried about right here fitting three of these over there seems like it's going to be a tall order um, so that means I may have mismeasured on that side a little bit or I made this hallway a little bit too big 
I guess if worse comes to worse at this point, um, I'll put one room in and then do the bigger one on the side. I, I don't know. I don't really have the fix for it without tearing this apart and ruining what I already did. So I think I'm just going to have to live with being one room short on that side. Um, I mean, I'll be able to, it won't be that big of a deal, but, uh, I don't know. They, they're not 100% perfect. I kind of do go a little bit sideways that way, but I, I, I don't know. I just, I don't see how I'd make that fit, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, the ability to see these in general is going to be pretty difficult. Granted, you'll be able to see it when I pull a deck off because, um, my split for the, uh, for the, um, superstructure coming off is going to be this deck. So this deck will have visibility to it when you pull off the A deck, um, cause this is going to sit on there magnetically. But at the end of the day, um, I don't know. It, it, I could move one over like that and make another little hallway or something and just kind of call it a day because I don't really have a solid answer for it. I'm just going to, uh, do the best I can with what I got going on and, uh, kind of live with it because back here then I got rooms that go in with a lounge and all that kind of stuff. So I, I can't really, I can't modify it too much. Um, plus you got your Parisian cafe in here, which obviously I'm not modifying that. So I think I'm just going to have to kind of live with it and, uh, just have two rooms here. But anyway, let me get carpet cut for both these. I'll get these installed. We'll put some uh, flooring around for the grand staircase to get that ready here for the aft grand staircase. Um, figure out where the wall goes up here and then pretty much wrap up this video. Uh, I'll, I'll do all the furniture off, off video just because uh, there's no sense in really going back through and rehashing that all. Um, it is essentially the exact same thing that we already have done here. Just a lot more of it. So I got that sheet and then I got two more and then I got another one just as big as this. So that's just a whole lot of bending and all that kind of stuff that I'm not going to bore you all watching over again. Um, looking at over here, we're going to end up having this wall here very shortly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. One thing I did not mention, and I should have mentioned this, um, I went back and corrected it after, after putting uh, the video out. But these walls right here, I had to take back out and cut the scale deck um, so that the wall would drop in along the... Uh, along the plastic edge like this one's here. So when I go to put this wall in and this wall, uh, we'll, we'll cut it on video so you can kind of see what I did there. Um, but if we didn't do that right, this stuff would not all be level and uh, our deck would not fit down right, which would then lead to a lot of light bleed. So corrected that, it's all good now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these floors and um, I'll come back and kind of show you where we're at. Okay, so working on the aft grand staircase right now, I have some pillars printing, the ones that will go basically up to the A deck and on the, um, around the bottom down here. So I got them on the 3D printer going right now. And uh, we're working right now to put wall wallpaper for the paneling on the walls here. So I took the, um, I took the printouts from uh, the old Facebook group there and uh, I enlarged them a little bit and I'm using that because I could not find a suitable white wall type finish. So I enlarged it, which these are basically just the gym and uh, I took the brown bottom off of it, which then putting it upside down gives it pretty much the look of uh, the paneling that I'm looking for. So that'll work. So basically just cutting them out, 
and uh, gluing them on. This will be an extremely hard part of the ship to see unless I have the top off, but uh, I'm still doing it anyhow just because I will have the top off sometimes and uh, I want it. So basically just putting the wallpaper on and then these here furniture pieces are what I'll be using. They were a wicker, um, but it looked like red seat in there. And then I have some couches that I'll use too. So um, basically right now, just all about gluing and waiting for the uh, columns to print out. I'll have to fix that little piece right there. I'll put a piece of patch in basically. I've got a little bit of glue that went overboard. So not a big deal. Again, you'll never see this ever, but whatever. So, anyway, um, there's also a throw rug that goes in here, so I gotta print that yet. I found that file also on the Facebook page. Thank you very much to whoever posted that because it wasn't in the main group, so I appreciate it. Okay, so basically, once I get this done, I'm going to paint up some furniture to get that ready to go, and uh, then we'll put that on. Once we get this grand staircase area completed, minus the steps, I'm not putting them in yet just because uh, I don't want to have it off the ground or not at the ground but the um off the workbench here because it will end up breaking um once i get that done we will uh pretty much end this video and then uh it'll be time to move into the um the uh next parse portion of uh the build which will be the uh a la carte restaurant and the um, the uh, second class smoking lounge, which those are both Woody's um, model works. So I have the sheets for them already. I was taking a look at them already. So those are the walls for them. So this part is a lot more visible. So they will be uh, visible or not visible. They will be brass, obviously. And that wall basically will go back here now. On the layout, there is um, there is a galley and pantry and all that stuff over in here. So I'm probably not... Well, I might model it. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see. Um, but in any case, we'll at least have pretty much all of the area that could possibly be visible through a little window and another window um coming through the uh cafe parisienne oh well, that's another that'll probably be another whole video too is cafe parisienne then after that i'm just kind of mapping out this whole b deck situation after that it will be time to put the lighting in for the lower deck down here underneath the um underneath the uh, entrance to the uh, second class staircase. So we'll do all that. And uh, yeah, it's kind of mapping out the videos anyway. And that should get me just about done with B-Deck at that point. So there's been quite a few videos to create this deck, but um, I'm really pretty happy with it all in all. It definitely, definitely looks Titanic. We'll say that. So, anyway, um, I'm going to paint the uh, the uh, wicker furniture, and I'm going to use the same color that I did for the um, uh, private promenade, uh, and then the tables. I gotta look what color I wanna go with on them, but uh, I guess they would be next after that. So, what I could see in the pictures, um, 
of the uh, of the restaurant there they're basically all three and four sets of chairs so I'm just gonna end up using these there's no big brown or no big uh, longer tables so it'll be just these right in here um, which is fine I've got enough to do what I need to do I'm gonna break off that so yeah that'll work so for my uh my wicker furniture i'm just using uh tamaya what is this tamaya uh deck tan nothing fancy I broke that chair. So then I'm going to have to try to get red onto the seat of these chairs. If that's possible, I don't know. We'll see. These are pretty tight as they are. But I'll give it a try. Once the tan dries anyway. So I'm going to paint these up and uh, pause it for a minute. And then we'll come back and uh, install them. So be right back. Okay, so here are our rugs. Um, there's two that go in here. I just printed four. Just in case I screwed something up. But uh, they look like they'll be about the right size. So I'm just going to cut these out and glue them down now these were only in the uh, what do you call it room the uh, the um, reception slash restaurant area here at the after and staircase so they will work and I'll basically go they go right forward of the staircase, so right about there on both sides. Perfect. All right, now we just gotta glue. Gave the look that I was looking for. Oh. So, I just need these tables and chairs to dry up quick, and uh, the green, the green's all I'm waiting on. I'll paint the red on the seat quick, and uh, pretty much be ready to roll. I'm gonna try it with a toothpick. Just nope, I don't like that. That's way more than I want. So, let me find a brush, and then uh, I gotta print out some couches yet, or sofas, whatever you want to call them, for along some of the back wall here and whatnot. It wants one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine couches. It's a lot of couches. All right, so I'm gonna have to print out a set of them too, but. We'll be back. Okay, so here we go. I got the um, 
I got the couches printed out. I got my columns printed out and they came out pretty nice, honestly. So I'm pretty happy with them. Um, you can see they got some detail to them as well. So pretty good. Uh, so what we're going to do is basically arrange the furniture um, onto the uh, onto the grand staircase area here and uh, get it glued down. Um, the only real thing I gotta kind of see if I'm gonna try to figure out is palm trees. I don't even know if it's worthwhile, but there was palm trees like all over the place in here. So um, I may or may not bother with that just because the fact that, uh, again, you can't see this area at all, but you will be able to see it when, uh, when I have the top off. So, so there is that. Um, so basically just looking at the floor plan right now of where the couches belong. And there's actually quite a few of them that go in here in their caddy corner, kind of like that, in the corners like that. Um, then it calls for two to go. I'm sorry, it's just one. One along the wall there. I was going to say, there's no way I'll fit two in. So, that guy goes right there. And we got uh, two that go over on the other wall, so on the far side there. So I'm just going to go ahead and break these off a while. And then two that go caddy corner again. So a lot of seating in this, uh, in this space. But these are looking good for what they are they will do the job and then we'll put our columns in and then once we get the columns in i think that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video because uh from here off camera i'm gonna work on putting my furniture in on the uh rest of these uh, cabins here and I'm going to work on the um, the uh, the forward grand staircase getting that buttoned up which is essentially the exact same as this one um, but yeah we're going to get that all put together off camera and then the next video is either going to be second class uh, second class smoking room. Not second class. That would be first class. The smoking room back here. No, not the smoking room. I'm sorry. Jeez. The restaurant. And then I got the a la carte restaurant out here. And then I got the, um, the other place back there. So it'll be one of these two, depending on what I decide. So I'm going to put some of these columns in and there were three that were here, which essentially just obviously hold up the ceiling to the uh, to the next side there, or the next deck, I mean. Must have something not straight on there. Yep, I do. There we go. Let's try that again. That's better. And cut off the next one. So there's three that go kind of along here, and then there's uh, 
two that go here, and we're gonna have to make another banister quick. That shouldn't take too long. And these would attach then to the staircase coming down from the upper level. But we're going to kind of uh, guesstimate where that is at this point. Because uh, I don't have the air, A deck staircase ready to go yet. stuff there all right now how I'm gonna do my banister on this is basically and it's gonna actually go back there so we're gonna have another one um, so I don't need that stuff I need the flat piece because it connects banister to banister. And that will go essentially right there. And I have these measured out pretty much perfect to uh, fit under the ceiling. So should be no issue with this. There we go. Now, our last little portion of this is just putting the railing on. So, I'm gonna kinda guesstimate my size to be right about there. Might be a little bit long but I'd rather go long than short because I can trim it. And this is just styrene strip again. There might be a couple more chairs that we add to um, just randomly around in this room because the uh, diagram does show more chairs so I'll probably add them here in a second I already have them printed and painted so it shouldn't be a big deal this white rail is going to be my lower rail it's still too long and I'll paint it brown after I get it installed So that one sits between the rail. <clears throat> and our next piece. We'll have to paint it yet. Just a tad too long. This should do it. Just put 
that one there. Okay. And now just like we did on the railing then, we'll end up using the transparency with these pieces. Um, let me get my glue first, or my paint first. Again, I'm using this Life Color um, natural wood color. Seems to be doing quite well for this type of job. And we're just gonna kind of paint that rail that we put in here. I'm not going crazy to get it perfect on the sides and all that kind of stuff because you'll never see it. Okay. Now, next up, we're going to cut our transparency. And I'm doing a four on this. I know that's not exactly accurate, but I know what the length is on this, so I don't really have too much of a choice when it comes down to it. I'm a little long, so it looks like three is what my golden number should have been. And now I just want to make sure that I'm pretty straight with it. Oh, just a touch too long still. That's so close. side here and then we're just going to put the top of the railing on and we will just about be done with this video. Okay so anyway Titanic is moving along at a pretty good steady rate, I guess you'd say. I should be able to get quite a bit done over the next two days. I might even have another video pretty much done at that point. Um, just because the weather is supposed to be pretty yucky. So, that gives me the opportunity to do some modeling. exciting.
Okay, one. We'll put our other one on here. And we'll paint it up and call this a day. Okay, come on. There. Okay, we're gonna paint that, and I think I will add just a couple more chairs there, uh, like I said, and then we'll be done. They're just bugging me not being brown on top, even though it won't really matter. Okay, last couple chairs. And um, once again, if you uh, haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please make sure you do. Um, like I said, the next video, next two videos will be finishing out the B deck, maybe three, two or three videos whatever they end up being. Um, we'll finish out the B deck and then uh, it'll be time to start getting ready to move up to A deck. So we are rolling right along here. Um, still got to put the motors in. I know that that will come, I promise, at some point for those of you that are waiting for that part. And it's probably getting close to time to do a uh, float and weight test again, just to kind of see where we're at, because uh, this is starting to get a little bit of weight here at this point um, as we go and keep adding and building up more. Obviously, it just keeps adding more and more. pieces to the puzzle. I'm just kind of randomly putting some of these chairs around. And they would have got moved, I'm sure, by passengers and whatnot throughout the day. Okay, there we go with that. I did forget one couch that goes right there, so I'm going to put that on real fast. And uh, basically wrap it up from here. So. I'll kind of give a, a little bit of a close-up of this real quick 
so you can kind of see what it looks like. But there we go. Definitely got our reception area in. I could probably add a clock right there yet, um, but all in all, pretty happy with it. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.